Don't worry, we might have a chance. Professor Spark recently launched a whole series of space probes into the black hole. I think we can use it to intercept Polly's radio transmission. Just click on the telescope and we'll get started. Okay, there's three steps to this too. Is this cool or what? One minute we're in Professor Spark's observatory, and the next we're looking into space 300,000 light years away at a humongous black hole. See that? That was Polly's radio transmission, and the radio wave circling inside the black hole is part of Polly's hint. Unless you blast it out of there, it's going to get sucked into a different dimension. That's one of Professor Spark's space probes. It's strong enough to resist the intense gravitational pull of the black hole, and it packs laser beams powerful enough to knock Polly's radio transmission to safety. You can actually spin the ship by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. To shoot the ship's laser beam, press the spacebar on your keyboard. Whenever you hit a radio transmission packet head on, you'll knock it one light year away from the center of the black hole. When you collect four radio packets, you've got Polly's entire hint ready for unscrambling. Okay. I actually enjoyed this one too. I don't know why, but I did. It's really not that hard to win the game. Nice shoot. You got a radio packet. Great. Great. You got another radio wave packet. Yas. Where do you see how much you've collected though? That I can't really see like anywhere. Another asteroid. That's it. Now it's time to decode Polly's message. Huh. Weird. This is the professor's alien transmission decoding device. It comes in handy when it comes to decoding transmissions from extraterrestrial beings. The catch is, he hasn't yet found any alien transmissions to decode. Still, we can use it to read Polly's hint. I guess you can call that an alien transmission. <laughs> Here comes the radio transmission you intercepted from the grip of the black hole. Oh, sentence structuring. What a drag. Polly's hint is all scrambled. The words aren't in the right order. Polly's not an alien, technically, but we can still use the professor's alien decoder to unscramble her hint. What you need to do is rearrange the words so they create a sentence that makes sense. You know, a subject is usually followed by a verb and all that stuff you learned at school. Okay. I made the days longer than the nights. Hey, you made quick sense out of that messy sentence. Not done yet. There's more to figure out. I made flowers grow tall and days grow warm. Reminds me of Maui from Moana. You decoded one of the sentences. Wait, there's more to be done. How did I do all these things? Great, you decoded one of the sentences. Not done yet. There's more to figure out. I brought spring to ancient people. I think that ends that way. Way to go! You nailed the code! I made the days longer than the nights. I made flowers grow tall and days grow warm. How did I do all these things? I brought spring to ancient people. I have no idea who the fuck this is. Way to go! The hint is unscrambled. Now we just have to go to the star chart and figure out where in the universe she sent our clue. Okay. This is the professor's star chart. It's really like a map that shows the locations of all the billions of stars that we can see from Earth. Of course, there are billions more we can't see. In the old days, people used to navigate by the stars. This map would have come in handy then. Move the pointer over any of the constellations to find out their names. If you want to know more about one of the constellations, just click on it. Okay. Forget who it is. Is it Capricorn? Forget, dude. Is it Aries or Pisces? I don't even know, dude. I, I have no idea. The Zodiac is the name for 12 ancient constellations. Some people believe that the positions of the sun and the planets against this starry background can change their death. 
Sorry to interrupt, I just don't care. No, obviously I do care. Capricorn is a goat with the tail of a fish. In the ancient Middle East, Capricorn appeared in the winter sky. The fish tail represented the rains of winter. It was hoped that the half of Capricorn representing the goat would scamper out of the sky and take the rainy winter with him. Hmm, okay. Aquarius means water-bearer in Latin, because people believed he carried water to the gods. But Aquarius was a constellation that ancient people feared. It appeared in the winter, and winter brought rain and sometimes deadly floods. Okay. Sagittarius represents Chiron, the king of the centaurs. The centaurs were men from the waist up and horses from the waist down. <laughs> Chiron, the archer, points his arrow at the heart of the scorpion. He was brave and wise. Chiron arranged the stars into constellations so that men could use them to tell directions and to foresee the changing seasons. For thousands of years, people have charted the position of the planets and the sun against the twelve constellations of the zoo. Hey, there are a lot of stars out there. Just because the spaceship isn't in that constellation doesn't mean we won't find it in our next try. Damn, that wasn't him. Taurus is the bull in the night sky. In Greek mythology, the bull was Zeus, the leader of all the gods. Aries. Aries looks like a powerful ram, but its stars don't twinkle brightly. Still, it was the most important constellation to ancient people. When Aries appeared in the sky just before dawn, people knew that winter was coming to an end. Oh, perfect. Then it is Aries. Way to go! You picked the right constellation, and now the ship is heading back here. Woo! You make contact! All right, now put the clue into the inventory for safekeeping, then head on out. The world depends on us. Is this all supposed to take place over, like, one day? Huh. I'm getting a strong clue reading in the robot maze. Cool. Let's do this. Robot maze. This is the most dangerous part of the mountain. That's why Professor Spark uses it as an obstacle course for testing out new robots. With all the treacherous paths and sharp turns, it's the perfect way to test out the latest in robot navigational technology. You're right, Motley. That little box down there contains the mission clue you so desperately need. I programmed that stupid robot to put that box where you wouldn't be able to reach it. Then I scrambled the commands. See if you can unscramble them. Okay, I got this. I figured it out. Are we going to talk more? Okay. Yep. As far as I can figure, here's the situation. That robot has been specially designed to maneuver his way down there. He's really good at following directions, and he's got nerves of steel. So what you have to do is rearrange all the robot's commands on that remote control device in front of you so they're in the correct order. The commands tell him which way to move. Just click on the command you want to move, then drag it to where you want it to go. When you press the run button at the bottom of the remote control, the robot will follow your directions to get to that box, if the order is correct. If not, well, better him than me. Okay, I got it. So first we go south too. Oops. And then log west. And then south three. Jump south. And then one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Should be good. He seems so tiny. There he goes. Perfect. Yeah, this is no problem at all. I really do want to play this while I'm drinking, though. It seems like it would be a good idea. All right. And he just walks the rest of the way. I really love it because once he um, makes it over, you'll see Botley parting just a little bit in the corner. If I remember correctly. A little bit of a party, yeah. <laughs> Terrific! Polly has nothing over you. Aww. Great! Take the clue and put it in your inventory. Then, on to complete this mission. See, in my mind, I was just like, aw, the robot's falling in love with me, a.k.a. Botley. I just created a story for myself. 
All right, we got all the mission clues. Now all we need is enough invention points. Oh. We need 1,000 total. We're gonna have to play some of the games on this floor to win some more points. Oh. Let's check out the observatory. Fuck, I didn't want to do that. Damn it. How about playing a game on the third floor to win some more invention points? Okay, apparently he really wants to go to the observatory. I don't know why it's he's suggesting the third floor. Okay, well he said observatory, so let's just do that. All right, we got all the. Okay, you said observatory, so let's just do this. Well, since there's no mission clue to be found here, we could always try to track down the missing spaceship to see if maybe Polly launched some invention points. Yeah. Get ready for a fun-packed thrill ride to the bottomless pit. Okay, time to look for I it. I think you know what to do. Yep. Click on the telescope and we'll get started. Let's do this. Aw, it's going dark. We're gonna need to get juiced up soon. I hated that. Look, the radio transmission is in the gravitational pull of the black hole. We have to knock it loose if we want to get that hint. Polly's transmission is four radio packets big. Make sure uh, you collect them all or we won't be able to decode it straight. Another asteroid bites the dust. Nice shoot. You got a radio packet. Alright, so we just have one more. Is That's cool. It. Now it's time to decode Polly's message. Easy peasy. Here comes Polly's message, fresh from the brink of the black hole. Get ready to use a decoder. Uh, something's not right. We gotta fix this sentence. My horns appear in the night sky. Uh, you make quick sense out of the Taurus? Uh, something's not right. We gotta fix this sentence. Yeah, I think this is Taurus. I am a symbol of strength and power. Decoded one of the sentences. Wait, there's more to be done. Ancient people prayed to me. Prayed to me. I'm pretty sure this is Taurus. Wait, you decoded one of the sentences. Uh, something's not right. We gotta fix this. There sentence. it is. They called me the sacred bull. Yep, it's Taurus, all right. And we're 100 points away. Way to go! You nailed the code. My horns appear in the night sky. I am a symbol of strength and power. Ancient people prayed to me. They called me the Sacred Bull. Okay, you unscrambled a hint. Quick, to the star chart so we can find those invention points. You got it, Botley. Let's do it. You need to figure out which constellation Polly sent her father's spaceship to. Click on the star chart. Click on any of the constellations and this machine- Wait, it's not gonna give me a hundred points just for that. Taurus is the bull in the night sky. Oh, it did. Right on target. Here comes the spaceship. Oh, thank God. I'm so happy about that. We've made contact! Right. Those invention points will come in handy. Scroll them into the inventory. Okay, so we have 1,050. Ooh. Everything we need. Take a deep breath and click on the time machine door back there. It gives you 500. Damn. I'm so down. All right. Time machine time, guys. 